Hello, I'm Christopher Collins and I'm going to show you how you can make a flash diffuser for your camera out of a milk jug. Now, I've already cut, I've already drawn on it. You can actually make two of these out of one milk jug. I learned about this concept from Gary J. He posted a video onto YouTube on a zero dollar um, DIY pop-out um, flash diffuser about June 6, 2012 and so I got inspired to do what he did and then after making several different flash diffusers I made my own adjusted the design and this is what works best for my Nikon camera and this is great for making it so that when you have a uh, shot instead of it blowing out the face or blowing out um, the glass background to be all white you can get this and you're going to get more color out of your picture and use one of these attach it to the back of your camera and uh, that works a whole lot better so First you need to have your milk jug, cut it out, well actually make the milk jug, wash it out, wait a little bit, you're probably going to get a really nasty smell, make sure it's dry enough to cut or else you're going to get water all over the place. And then just start cutting and it's a really simple process, it doesn't take very long to cut one of these milk jugs out. So get a knife. And you should, when I do this, I usually try to make it so I have one piece and then I can always make it smaller with my pocket knife or knife of whatever sort I'm going to use. Now, I've had these milk jugs for a couple weeks because of the, didn't know if I was going to use them or not for any purpose. So once you cut it out, this is what you should get. Something that looks like this. And then you should have this left over and you can use the bottom part for sorting and then this part you can cut out and then you have a way to have like a cone filter and you can put beads or whatever small items and use it to as a filter for like sugar or something small. One of the things that the cap is good for is using it for a way to like drain stuff out of like if you need to drain, like if you have small objects and you need like a filter to make sure it all goes down, you cut the top of this cap and you keep this part of it so you can use that for, and I'm sure there's some way to use the bottom of it as a way to sort materials afterwards. So if you need something that you need like small screws or something like that, you can use that to sort it. When you're done cutting it, it'll be really simple and you just adjust it, cut it as you need to to fit behind your camera. And then this part right here on the milk jug is supposed to be used so that you can use it to attach to the camera um, shoe mount for like where your microphone might be or uh, attaching a light or something like that. And then this, I used um, this part right here to make sure that it stays behind the camera. And then I can bend this milk jug as I need it. Um, when you check this video, check out, look at the original video that's from Gary G. And as well as check out the social media links that are below on my YouTube video for my Instagram and Twitter and you can find me there. I take lots of different pictures on that social media. Thank you for watching. I hope yeah, this helps you uh, make your own flash diffuser or maybe you can come up with a different idea for using a milk jug um, and if you have it, share it and 
share your ideas of the different ways you can use a milk jug. I know there's a bunch of different ways you can use a milk jug for different purposes. And I've also heard that you can use a coffee cup like from Starbucks and adjust that to make it into a flash diffuser as well. There's a bunch of different ways to make a flash diffuser. If you just look up on the internet or look up on YouTube, I saw several different methods. This one just happens to be the method that works the simplest. It's more compact. It fits into my camera bag. It doesn't take up too much space. And if I need to, if it breaks, I can always make another flash diffuser the next time I get a milk jug. So it's not something where if I lose it or drop it or something, I'm really concerned. And if I want to, I can share it with somebody. And um, they can, if they're a photographer, they can use the milk jug diffuser for their own purposes. And then I can make another one. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.